Good morning, guys. We're officially back in Paris, back together. Nina, like, literally just almost made me dab. Look at Nina's a fashionable Paris outfit. I'm back to the metro. <laughs> That's actually true. You're matching metro. So we basically decided, like, a couple of weeks ago, Nina just texted me, let's go to Paris. Let's catch up. <laughs> let's catch up. No, I mean, we talk all the time anyway. It's not like we need to catch up. Fire. But Nina just texted me, let's go to Paris. And I was actually thinking about it as well. Like, oh, that same week, I was actually thinking about it. And we decided to come back, come back and chill. And yeah, a lot of our friends are still here. So it's just really nice to catch up. So the plan for right now is that we're gonna grab some coffee and meet up with a friend and to be honest we don't really have a plan the plan is to just like walk around Paris yeah and then in the evening we're probably gonna get Indian food because like that's like that's our Paris that's thing our thing. <laughs> that's our thing also half of our friends here are Indian and probably get little wasted <laughs> I really love your outfit Nina thank you OTD where is your outfit from actually all H&M oh really um, from high faith market. <laughs> <laughs> and, what is it? Uh, Adidas. Adidas. Well, where's your <laughs> outfit from? The skirt is from Zara. My shoes are Skechers. And the t shirt, I actually have no fucking idea where it's like, uh, I know, but yeah, Urban Outfitters. Urban Outfitters. And this is my vintage That's jacket. so cute. So so cool. outside. I and feel like nice, nice outside, but too cold, right? Oh, we, have heat we have heaters here everywhere. Every mirror needs a vlog. <laughs> that laugh. <laughs> I miss that laugh. Honestly, I feel like I almost forgot how beautiful Paris is. I honestly feel like I almost forgot how beautiful Paris is. I mean, I didn't forget, but it's just crazy. It is mind-blowing. I mean, I understand why Paris is Paris. What I mean is like, I understand why people are so obsessed with this city because it is freaking beautiful. I feel like now when I don't live here anymore and I'm just a tourist, it's almost like I can appreciate this city more. Uh, uh vlogging I feel like I can appreciate this city more because I don't have to deal with like the daily reality of Paris so cute you know because obviously like the daily life in Paris is not always easy it can be dangerous for you to like walk around at night in certain areas it is extremely expensive you see all these people around you walking with designer bags and you see all these incredible restaurants that cost like half of your monthly rent so obviously like when you live here there is a lot about the city that you can dislike but I feel like when you're just coming here for like a weekend it's sort of like easier to like Paris and that's why I sort of like understand why people who just come here as tourists are like obsessed with this city. <laughs> you know what I did today? So we decided that since we have not eaten for the past hour and a half, it is time to eat again. And we're gonna search for some crafts. I mean search, we don't have to search for them because they're like everywhere in Paris, but we're gonna get some. in Paris can be complete without a view of this little baby did you take a picture of Eiffel Tower always take a picture of Eiffel Tower do you remember the video where I'm like hating okay, on people okay. who buy Eiffel Tower miniatures oh, no, it's okay. <laughs> do you remember this video where we went to Eiffel Tower and I was like who the fuck buys that well now you know now you know who buys that and she bought eight eight so nina got her eight miniatures of eiffel tower which is very necessary and now we're the plan is to find some crabs now for real because last time i said we're gonna find some crabs we end up eating something else 
But now we're finding crabs okay, for real. <laughs> okay, so now the plan is for real to find some crabs and just sit by saying and look in the distance and eat crabs. I feel like I'm pron mispronouncing it. I say my like name? crabs. Your name? Oh, I thought you said my name. <laughs> <laughs> mispronouncing your name, Nina? Yeah. <laughs> that would be really difficult to mispronounce. Uh, it is uh, grip. Grip. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I say it as crap. Now we're pretty much done, done with touristing. And, and now we're just gonna head back home, back home to Pantan. I feel like now I can say where we live because we don't really live there anymore. The plan for tonight is Indian and part-time. Would you agree that you kind of like Paris more now when we don't live here? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I feel like that's with any place because yeah, I mean you get sentimental. Yeah, it, it becomes sentimental, nostalgic. Of course, you think about all the good things, and yeah. you don't have the hustle of like everyday life. You yeah, know? yeah. You don't need to worry about I don't know living in a tiny space that like, doing fucking laundry. Like. Oh my god, do you remember doing laundry in our building? Yeah, we lived annoying. in a building where there were six floors, and it was a bu building full of students, full of people. And there are two laundry machines. Like, why? Yeah. Why? Yeah. <laughs> Who came up with this great idea of putting two laundry machines? Like, why can't you not put a couple more? Yeah. We would fucking fight for and these you laundry know, you machines. You also don't have to like worry about like money as much because mm. you're here for like two or three days. Yeah. But yeah. like it was a struggle. Yeah, and being I, I student, always, yeah. like you really had to yeah. think about it. You had to think about it. Yeah, because <laughs> the thing is, like you're really tempted because you have all these nice things around you. Like yeah. you see those nice, nice things. They're not only like on Instagram. They're like out there for you to get. Um, and it can be really difficult to, you know, yeah, staying you, strong. You, know, you go to you, you, you want to go to all those like nice cute cafes, mm. but you don't have the money for it. Yeah, so it's really nice, like being here and like. Being able to actually go to the cafe. <laughs> yeah, because now we're only here for a weekend yeah. so we can allow ourselves to just, you know, yeah. spend a little more. Wait. Focus so I can zoom on your face. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Our blogger. Oh my god, wait until you gossip. I'm gonna show my viewers rainy Paris, rainy Paris for you. Okay, let's gossip. Good morning. It is Tuesday. No, what the fuck am I saying? It's Sunday. It's Sunday morning, and I am very. Yeah, I, I figured, I figured. It is Sunday morning and we partied a little bit too hard yesterday. So now, as you can see, I am super hangover. <laughs> and I, I, mean, I don't know, I just really feel like puking. And it is pouring in Paris. So yeah, not ideal, not ideal. But we're still going strong. Right, Nina? <laughs> I mean, not really. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, grandma. Uh, I just made it to the airport. I am flying back home to Warsaw tonight. I had such a good time in Paris. I'm so glad I came. It's really funny to think that Paris became like such a big part of my life or big part of my life or it became 
a place that means more to me that it, it, that feels like home in some way but it's funny because you know I would never expect that uh, I never I never expected that Paris would be that place it was just never a city that I dreamed of you know I've always dreamed about living in so many different cities but Paris was never one of them so it's just funny how life can turn out sometimes and sometimes things that don't necessarily seem good in the beginning end up being very good for you if you watch my vlogs you know that in the beginning I was a little hater uh, since I moved to Paris from Shanghai and I was having a very good time in Shanghai I, I loved my life there and I really didn't want to leave so when I first moved to Paris I just felt a little like um, I was a little negative obviously Paris is like not the easiest city to live in uh, and there are many things about the city that I disliked which I still sort of dislike but you know now it doesn't really matter because now I don't live here anymore now I can just come and visit and enjoy the beauty of Paris and the culture amazing food and my friends and just hang out and have fun and I don't have to worry about like crazy high rent or taking disgusting smelly metro it's just like a good life lesson to be a little bit more open towards things that not necessarily seem great at first and yeah to give things a chance anyways i've got to run now my flight is boarding soon thank you so much for watching this video and if you enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel and i'll see you soon Bye.